Hi guys, EBP Man, what's happens for me? And today we're going to take a look at a, uh, uh, a case, a hybrid case from Spigen, and it's uh, called the Neo Hybrid Case. And this case is designed for the Samsung Galaxy S5. Let's take a look and see what this case is all about. All right, so taking a closer look at the case, uh, the case is made out of two components. It has a bumper case um, or an inner shell, and a lot of the speaking cases uh, have this kind of groove inside. It's, it, they kind of call it like air cushion technology. So it really, um, they have this design not just for design purposes, but to, pro, to uh, provide additional protection to your phone. Uh, it has also this frame, and this frame, while these buttons right here look like they're metal, uh, they're actually plastic. And if we take a closer look right here, you'll notice that the, the, the button here basically is, as you press it, is going to press the button that you have on your uh, phone. Right, so your volume rocker will be pressed, and if you notice the same thing here, where we have our power button, the same thing happens here, and you can see that you know this this portion um, moves around. The um, it, it, it's really just a, a frame, and while it looks metal, I really can't. It feels more plastic than anything else. So this entire piece is made out of a, a plastic material, in my opinion, and fits around the actual uh, inner. Um, I'd say. Uh, glove or the this is TPU type material uh, that is very low profile. Uh, the one thing about this material, if we look at it as well, is that they've kind of uh, support that textured feel that you have with the S5. So you see how you have all those little dimples. I hope that comes out right there. So it's very similar to the backing that you have on your phone, and it's uh, it's pretty flat um, and has you know when I when I was looking at it it kind of reminds me of the shape of a iPhone so here I have an iPhone for example and then if you look at even the curvature I'm gonna put this right within frames so you can see this you, if you notice the curvature of it it's almost you know exactly uh, to the same curvature that you have in the corners of the iPhone but just um, on a larger scale so uh, let's see what the case looks like on the phone and uh, and we'll explore more features so to install the case all you do is you know place your your s5 like this and it slides in easily you know no problems there uh, it has a nice feel to it it's not a satiny finish but it has definitely a nice feel to it and now the next step is to put in this uh, this ring I'm gonna go ahead and start um, with the top and then just work my way around. Actually, we'll do it backwards. You'll notice that it has this little clisp right here, so we have to go from the back forward. So we're going to do this, do this, and then we're going all the way around. All right, now that's in place. Now, as I had mentioned, how it reminded me a lot about the iPhone shape, notice how the shape on the bottom here even becomes more iPhone-like as you see that. Uh, let's take a look at how everything works now. So um, you get some really good bumper protection. As you can see here, let's go ahead and, and close up on the screen. You'll notice right here that there is a lot of material, so you don't have to worry about scratching your screen. Uh, you'll notice that on the back, you have some good depth. We'll make sure we focus that right there. So you have some good depth for your camera. Not too much because it's a slim profile case, but you can see right there that your camera isn't flush in any way. See that? And then you have also your your sensor for your heart rate monitor and then also your flash there and again it's not too deep where you don't have to worry about your finger not not being detected um, on the top um, you know a lot of the cases have now learned that um, many folks are using like beat type headphones that have the the uh, the wider plugs um, I'll have to see how this one works because you'll notice how deep this is you see how deep that is it's not really flush with the uh, really flush with this so we'll see if the if as you insert it um, you get full a full plug connection because that is pretty deep as you can see there you have your IR blaster you have also your pinhole mic here you'll notice um, you have your other pinhole mic and then you have the this opening or this cavity right here uh, so that you can have access to uh, the edge the actual charging port and we'll go ahead and Oops, sorry. We'll go ahead and try to see if we can have access to it. And it is right here. So if we do this, it seems easy. Let's try that one more time. We'll seal that. Get in focus again. 
And then what we'll do is we'll see if we can get our finger in. This is this becomes really tricky, especially with these deeper cases, because you'll notice, see how deep this case is right here? Which is great for protection. Um, it's, it's pretty deep from the charging port. But it makes it tricky if you don't have long nails. And I have relatively, I don't know for a guy, not super long nails, but it makes it a little harder, um, I think, to get in. I'm going to do that one more time so you guys can see. <sighs> Oh, maybe not. So you do open up the, 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 the port easily and you do have access to the charging area. So this the depth and, and the width of this opening is adequate so that you can open that up. And then as you can see here, you can just close it up. Uh, the buttons seem to work well. doesn't seem like it, it causes any problem. I can hear clicking. So they're very responsive. And on the back, like I said, if you look right here for a second, here is your... Uh, your speaker and you have you know the speaking logo and you have that nice textured view on it uh, all, all in all I think it's it's a nice looking case I do have another case from Spigen here and this is um, one that we had already reviewed and you'll notice that it does keep the same size of the of the phone all the way around uh, it's just a little bit different it adds a different it probably highlights uh, so the shape of the actual phone, but from a thickness, you'll notice that it doesn't really do much to the phone from a thickness perspective. As you look at this case, in this case from Spigen, uh, but Spigen makes some some great products too. So uh, that was my review of the hybrid case, right? The hybrid case from uh, Spigen. It's called the Neo Hybrid case for the Samsung Galaxy S5. So if you have any comments or questions, or like to uh, don't forget to like this video and share it. If you have any comments or questions, leave them on the YouTube channel.